welcome back to my channel. So today, I will be sharing with you my current favorite products. So, Sinabi ko ng current favorite and hindi may favorites kasi it's been too long since I posted a last pa our monthly favorites video. So, um, without further ado, kung wala ko ng products dito, and I will be talking about them and sharing about them with you guys. So, first favorite, sige, mag-start na tayo na order na nilalagyan natin siya sa face natin. So, first favorite, of course, I did a review on this, and this is the Dior Skin Forever Foundation. So, this is the foundation I have on today. And as you can see, it may have a Okay, so as you can see, it really gives you a skin-like finish. May SPF siya, so it's very parang wearable during daytime, even if hindi ka maglagay ng sunscreen para wala ka extra layer on your skin. Um, Nakakini siya tingnan na skin and it lasts all throughout the day. Promise, kaya maghilang mo siya dito na tubig, hindi siya aalis sa mukha ko. So unless gumamit ka ng makeup remover or facial wash na kasi nakakatagal talaga ang foundation. So I really love this one. I've also been loving something that I've tried in a recent first impressions video and this is the Bourjois Healthy Mix Foundation. Well, I like this because it has a lot of good ingredients. Although, same na same din sila nitong gel. Pagdating sa feeling, sa pagiging lightweight, sa healthy finish. Kasi this, this foundation really makes you look so healthy. Yun lang yung masasabi ko sa kanya. Kapag meron akong days na gusto kong sure ako na magmumukha fresh and healthy, this is the foundation I go for. Kasi whether um, oily ako or dry ako, it really works for me. And healthy ba yung ingredients niya, so hindi ka magiging pinag so, siya ng pangmatagal. So next favorite is my travel body. So kung meron ka foundation na dinadala ko when I travel, this is it. This is the L'Oreal True Match Foundation and I'm in the shade WT. So I bring this kasi sure ako na maganda yung finish niya. And meron din siyang SPF na yung SPF niya, titanium yung dioxide. Hindi siya, it's a physical sunscreen. So hindi siya yung tipo na nakaka-cost ng free radicals kapag tinatama siya ng araw. So you have no I have no fear na madadamage niya yung skin ko. And really, wala akong time na ginamit ko to na hindi ako good foundation to me. Kaya, I trust this kaya siya yung ginadala ko. And it's very small. So, ang dali niya ilagay sa purse. And it's really easy to travel with. So, next item is a concealer that I've been really, really um, into recently. This is the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer. I'm in the shade Custard. I like this because um, it's so skin-like. Kaya mo siya Kapag may times ako na I'm just running errands and gusto ko lang na para even complexion, I use this. This is, uh, mas maday siya i-blend using your fingers and it really just melts into your skin so easily. Almost undetectable siya kapag suot ko siya and that's what I like about it. Sobrang lubog na nga siya kahit dahil lagi ko siyang ginagamit. Especially on blemishes kasi hindi siya kikitin na over blemishes. So I really like it this one. I like this even more than the Rated Creamy Concealer kasi mas skinny like your finish ito. Medyo thicker kasi yung ano, yung Rated Creamy Concealer. And, ang gusto ko pa dito, kasi diba, under your eyes, you tap it like this, pero dun sa mga areas sa may pores ka, try to swipe it, makikita mo, magugura niya instantly yung pores. But it's so amazing. Next is a setting powder that I've been loving recently, and this is the Maybelline Master Fix Setting and Perfecting Loose Powder. So, same story siya with the NARS concealer. When you put this over the areas where your pores are visible, talagang instantly nabubura niya like matching. Ganun siya. Pero, I only put this dun sa under eye areas and yung pore prone areas. Kasi, this has silica na magka-flashback siya kapag may pictures ka na may flash. Okay? Or extreme lighting magka-flashback siya. So, do not use this during nighttime events use another setting powder na walang setting. Next product is another one that I did a first impressions with. And this is the Filmstar Bronze and Glow by Charlotte Tilbury. This comes with a very um, nakakatakot na price tag. But, totoo lang, I find it so worth it. Kasi, yung scalp shade niya is a perfect undertone. You can contour with this, you can brush with this, and it melts into your skin. Like nothing, like butter. Ganun yung texture niya. Same with the highlights, it just gives your skin such a healthy glow. It is not shocking whatsoever. It's the finest um, highlights that I've ever used in my life. It's so natural. Ito and the, uh, the next one that I'll be talking about are my favorite highlights. Kasi they just give your skin a healthy glow without emphasizing your pores or texture. So I really like it. Next is another travel body of mine. And this is the NARS Laguna and Hot Sand Duo. 
the Laguna Bronzer, syempre, this is a hot, this is a hot favorite already. Kasi you can bronze with it. Same with the Charlotte Tilbury. You can also contour with it. Kasi it's just a neutral undertone. And it's so blendable. It's so small. It's so compact that you can easily travel with it. And I find that it's sturdy na lagyan niya. And the hot sand highlight is what jeans are made of. Kasi if you really just want to look healthy and fresh, then go for this highlight. It's super smooth talaga nitong contact na to. Kasi both products are so good. Hindi lang siya basta okay lang. Eh, eh, so, so. Pero it's so, so good. So next is another luxury item na may tutuling mo. But, um, I find it a worth it naman siya, actually. Natatakot lang ako. Kasi lagi ko na siya ginagamit. I always reach for this kasi feeling ko pag importante lang ako. Or I just want to look good. This is what I go for. And this is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Skin Perfecting Micro Powder. And I'm in the shade number 2 medium. And I find this the softest powder I've ever touched. And at the same time, when you remove the skin, it never looks cakey talaga. It gives you just a parang hair amount more coverage. But it's so small. It's so small. It's so small. And it's so buttery. Na talang it just glides onto your skin and makes your skin even smoother. Yun yung magagawa niya. Talagang airbrush tingnan yung skin mo kapag ito yung ginamit mo. But, ito lang ako may share ko sa inyo. If you can't afford or hindi mo kaya, hindi kaya na loob mo mag-spend so much in a powder, then I suggest you get this for a healthy balance matte powder, unifying powder, kasi it does the exact same thing. The texture, the color, the blurring effect, it does the exact same thing. Hindi ko naman pakita sa inyo yung sa akin. That's it. It's broken. It, but it really just smooths out your skin. It's the same. Same talaga yung nagagawa niya. Kaya, if you don't, so if you don't want to spend the Charlotte Tilbury powder, then get this one. Or if you have this one, then personally, I don't think, you just need either one. Isa lang. Okay na yun. Kasi they, they do the same thing. I'm in the shade 53 Beach Gravel. Okay, so, last product for the face, and this is the Pixie X at Vinovart glowy powder in the shade Rome Rose. Ngayon, mas akala ko una, mas gustong gusto ko yung Santorini Sunset one. But I find that this one is really a unique um, color eh. Para siya is the highlight I'm wearing today. And it's pink. Yung parang, titignan mo din siya, it's pink. But it's pink with a reflect of gold. It's so unique. Kaya ako siya gusto. Kasi parang wala pa ako nakikita Katulad nito, it is so smooth, oh. hindi niya na, na, hindi niya na emphasize yung texture mo if you have any. It just really makes your skin glow. It's a glowy powder. And it's so big. Nagagawa lang sobrang sulit ng pera mo dito. It's so big. It has parang 10.21 grams or 0.36 ounce, ounces, rather. It's so big. Kaya pa. I don't know how many times I can say the word big, pero talaga lang. This is so beautiful. It's so smooth. It's so parang... Kakaiba siya. Para siyang, para siya almost bomb yung, yung, ano niya, yung texture niya. And it just gives you a really smooth and glowy, healthy from it. So next item, of course, I also included this in my first impressions video. And this is the Marvelous Mops from um, Those of Colors. And I really like it kasi all the shades, mainly kasi sa matte eye shadows, kasi hooded eyes, I have hooded eyes. And it's super easy to use. Actually, madaming ways mo siya pwedeng gamitin. But I find it's so blendable. It almost blends itself. And kung ano yung pigment na nakikita mo sa pan, dun, ayun yung itsura niya sa eyes mo. Hindi siya nagiging lighter. Kung ano yung pigment niya dito, yun siya. The only thing I can say about this is, is it's so powdery. So you have to be careful of all else. But once you tap your brush and blend it into your eyes, hindi naman siya nauguro. And it really lasts the full day. Kaya gusto ko so. I can't wait for my big brows. So next, moving on to the eyes, I have two single eyeshadows that I've been loving recently. This one is from Jouer. It's called Licorice. It's just a black. So easy mo na pa kasing yung black, but you always need it. So don't worry. Especially when you want to line your lash line or you want to set your eyeliner. This is such a good black. Simply a good black. And hindi siya masyadong nagsipuan ako. And the other one is my Catrice eyeshadow in the shade... Ah, uh, ano to? Don't... Basta, the shade 640. Absolute eye color. Yan. 
ko, ano man to. Kasi nakapura na sa likod yung pangala niya. What is soaking mentet? I use this in my last eyeshadow tutorial. I'll link it down below. But the soaking, soaking mentet. These are so underrated. Sobra. So eyeshadow. So I don't know why this next item, I don't, I haven't spoken about it in a favorites video. But I really like this. This is my second or ride or die eyeshadow palette. And this is the pretty fun and fearless eyeshadow palette from Ciate London in collaboration with Chloe Brown. No, na pinili ko talaga to dahil I love Chloe so much. Kaya ako na punta sa mundo na makeup because Chloe Moreno. Siya yung unang-una ko napanood na nag-hook sa akin talaga. And to be honest, all honesty aside, regardless of idol ko si Chloe o hindi, these are one of the best quality eyeshadows that I've ever tried. I'm so surprised kasi wala masyadong um, nag-hype sa Seattle London eyeshadows. But every eyeshadow in this palette is good quality. Walang patapon. When I want to go for brown, I go to this palette. When I want to go for mauve, I go to this palette. When I want to go to gold, I go, I go for this palette. So, it's really para a multi para multi look um, eyeshadow palette. And you can do so much with this. I actually use this for my wedding. Ito yung ginagawa ay shadow palette na yun. And sobrang, sobrang, sobrang pigment niya. Sobra. And ito yung bronze niya. Grabe yung pigment niya. And even itong shade na Pierce. This is one of my favorites. Look. Grabe yung pigment niya. And it's so creamy. It's so easy to blend. Walang fall out. Walang masabi. Yung neutral shades mo, kompleto ka ng brow bone shade. Kompleto ka ng inner corner. Kompleto. Kompleto. Kompleto ka ng inner corner, kompleto ka ng transition shades, may, may neutral, may warm, may pink. Wala ka nang hanapin pang iba nandito na lahat sa palette na to. If you are a neutral girl, then go for this palette. It's so cute, oh. Next is something na I never thought I'd find. Sabi ko kasi, di ba, wala akong right or day na eyeliner. Kasi I haven't found an eyeliner that really lasts, pero sobrang creamy niya. But I think I found it kasi ito yung Catrice Long Lasting Eye Pencil Waterproof. It is the eyeshadow I'm wearing on my when I tight line earlier. And hindi ito gagalaw. It's so creamy. It's so brown. And hindi siya gagalaw. Hindi talaga siya gagalaw kapag nalagay mo siya. See? It's so black. It's so easy to write. Oh, ayan. Sobrang creamy niya. But once it's in your eyes, even sa waterline mo, hindi siya aalis all throughout the day. Hindi siya kahit pagpawisa ka, hindi siya magsasmudge sa lower lash line mo, pag-uwi mo sa hapon. <laughs> Grabe, I never... Bakit hindi ko alam kung bakit ngayon ko lang siya na-discover? Kasi it's so good. It's even better than the color pop eyeliner. Kasi yun, I find na nag-fade siya all throughout the day. This does not. Hindi siya nag-fade. Kaya, this is so affordable as well. So, if you are looking for a good eyeliner, then go for this. Wala ba ko nakikita ang kapantay ng quality nito. This is really high-end quality. Pero, in a drugstore or department store. Last favorite is recently kasi sobrang dehydrated ko. Alam nyo naman guys, sobrang inyem. And I'm the kind of person na pagdating ko sa work, gagawin ko muna lahat bago ko may tubig, bago ko mag-CR. Nakakalimutan ko na talaga lahat ng bagay. So, sobrang dami na ginagawa. So, laging nagda-dry like the chapter leaves ko. Dumating sa point na sobrang sugat-sugat na siya kasi sobrang dehydrated ko ang tao. Hindi ako pala yung nagtubig. And ito yung nag-rescue sa akin from that condition. And this is the Sugar Rose by Fresh. And this is their parang lip, tinted lip treatment with this SPF, with the SPF of 15. Isang beses mo lang siya yung nag-isa lips mo, mawawala yung dryness. Mawawala tayo yung dryness. This is amazing. This is sample size. Hindi siya sample size. I got this in a parang set, Sephora set. Grabe. Sobrang sulit nito. I would repurchase this definitely kapag naubos na siya. Pero ang tagal na nito sa akin, pero hindi pa siya naubos. And it's so small, no? Ito yung regular size ng liquid lipstick. And ito siya. Sobrang late niya talaga. Pero hindi pa rin siya nauubos until now. Kasi isang sweat mo lang sa baba, ginoon mo lang yung lips mo. Then okay na siya. Then after a while, you will find na wala na yung dryness na lips mo. So, sobrang sulit nito. If you're suffering with dry lips or dryness, then go for the fresh lip cheek. Okay, so that's it for my current favorites video, guys. I hope na matry mo dito mga products na to for yourself because I really, really enjoyed using them. And I, I'm so happy that I added them to my collection. So if you like this video, Please hit the thumbs up button and subscribe if you haven't already. And follow me on my Instagram account. And I will see you on my next video. Bye!